Hi everyone, this is Ambroise from Auto Plaisir, motorcycle rental in Geneva. In this video, I'm going to show you the controls of the BMW R1250 GS 2021 model. So this is a BMW R1250 GS 2021 with a pro finish. That means it has more or less all the optional equipment. It's a bike with um, a fob you, that you just have to keep in your pocket. It has a physical key and I'm going to show you what is it for. To switch on the bike with the key in your pocket, you just have to press this button. Let's start on the left side here. So you pull this trigger to, to flash and you push it forward like this for high beam, okay? This button is for the cruise control. It's currently off like this. You switch it on, pushing it to the right. If you ride at, let's say, uh, 80 kilometers, you set the speed like this. You can then accelerate or slow down. If you touch the clutch brakes or you push back the throttle like this, it will stop cruising and you can resume pulling the lever like this. And you can also switch it off like this. This button is for the LED daylight. So when you press it, the, this symbol here with a little a will appear. The little a means it automatically switches to the LED daylight to the main light when it gets dark or if you go through a tunnel. In any way, whatever it is on or off, there's still always something on in the front. Okay, this button is for the hazard. Nothing much to say about that. The menu button now. So you can press it up or down. When you are on the main screen like this and you press it up, you can show the odometer, trip meters, fuel consumption, uh, and uh, quite a lot of other information, average speed. You can display the tire pressure on top here as well, the range, and we are back to the fuel gauge. You can press down the menu button and like this you enter in the motorcycles menu. You, and you can use the wheel like this or you can push it to the right to browse through the different pages. To the right or to the left, of course. Okay, so now let's enter in my vehicle menu. You press down again. This display shows about everything about the condition of the bike. No problem. Coolant temperature. Oil level will display when the engine is hot and it's been at idle long enough. The tire pressure, battery voltage and the range. You push the wheel to the right like this to show onboard computer one. This one can be uh, reset manually. I push down the menu button. You can reset all the values or just some of them using the, the wheel like this. I pushed the wheel to the right, trip computer two. This one can be set to reset automatically every day. Okay, next page is another page about the tire pressure. It shows you the specification here and it will calculate the difference with the actual uh, tire pressure. The next page is about the service requirements. Okay, I press up to go back to the previous menu. 
If you have downloaded on your mobile phone the BMW Motorrad Connected app, you can use the navigation on the screen here um, and it will show you the directions, uh, the exit you have to, to take uh, when you are on a roundabout. It does not show you uh, the map, so it's uh, useful and it's better than nothing. You go to the next page, uh, same thing if you have downloaded the BMW Motorrad connected app on your phone, you can play your music. If you have connected um, your helmet to the bike and same thing with your phone calls, you can answer them right on the bike. And these are where you can set a few things uh, of the bike. Okay. Um, let's go here. This button is for the ABS and uh, traction control. These lights are flashing until you ride a few meters. They will stop flashing. That means the ABS and traction control are working properly. This button is to set the suspension. During the ride, you can press this button and change the setting of the dampers here from road to the dynamic setting. It will be stiffer on the dynamic setting. And here you can read auto with a spring. This is for the, the preload. It is automatic, that means uh, whatever the, the weight you put on the bike, if your uh, passenger goes down or, or up the bike, the suspension will adjust itself automatically. Turn signal, uh, right, left, you push to cancel, it also cancels by itself. The horn is under here. This, uh, this button is for the additional lights. When, it's, when they are on, you can see it here. And these are the additional lights. Okay. Now to the right. This is the emergency call uh, button. So unless you have no choice, of course, you can press this button. But in case you have any problem, you have my mobile phone on the contract. So please call me. I'm here to help you with the roadside assistance or to answer any question. But if you have no choice, of course, press this button. It will call a BMW call center. They will be um, able to localize the, the bike and uh, send you some help. This button opens up the heating menu. So you can set the, the grips heating. So you push the wheel to enter the setting. You have five different levels and you push the wheel to the right to select the one you want, okay? When the heated grips are on, it's displayed here. Same thing with the seat. You enter the seat eating menu. You select the level of eating you need and you push the wheel to the right to set. When the seat eating is on, you can see it displayed here. For the passenger, there, are, there is a button here. You have two levels, one and two. The middle position is the off position. And when it's on, same thing, it's displayed here next to the seat heating. Okay, to turn everything off, you rotate the wheel and you
push OK to the right. And now it's off. OK, and you return to the main screen, pushing up on the menu button. Riding mode now. You press this button to change the riding mode of the motorcycle. You have several settings, rain, road, dynamic or eco. So every time uh, it changes the settings of the throttle, electronic throttle, the um, setting of the dampers, traction control and ABS. So it changes all these settings in a consistent package depending on the, the riding mode you're in. This is the kill switch. You press up to, to kill the engine and you press down to start. No need to accelerate, just press and hold until the engine starts. You can, uh, you have a USB plug here. Okay, you can adjust the height of the windshield rotating this knob like this. Okay, to switch on the bike or off, you press this button. To lock the steering, you turn the wheel to the left and when the bike is off, you press and hold this button. Okay, so now the steering is locked. You press to unlock and you switch on the bike, pushing the button again. The fuel cap is keyless as well. I cannot open it right now because the bike is on. I have to switch off the bike first before I can open the fuel cap. You can put unleaded 95, 98 or E10. Okay, let's have a look at the cases now. So to open or lock the cases, you use the physical key that is with the fob. When the lock is in this position, the cases are open. You can press the yellow button to lift the handle and you can press the yellow button again to pull on the, the lid. Okay. You have a lever here. You can expand these cases. So you can make them uh, five centimeters uh, deeper. The left one is the biggest case because it has no exhaust pipe. Here is the other one, it's a bit smaller. To, to take the case off the bike, it's very easy. That's why I recommend to, when you leave the bike, to lock, to lock the cases. Otherwise, uh, so like this, the cases are locked. Otherwise, it's very easy to, to take the cases off the bike. Um, so, you lift the handle first, you unlock this lever pulling on this smaller lever and now it's very easy to take the case off the bike using the handle here, like, like this. Okay, you have three points to, att to attach the case on the bike, one, two and three. So to put the case back on the bike, you line up on the lower one first and then on the upper two. Make sure it's all the way down and uh, that the lever, both levers are flush. Otherwise that means the, the case is not proper, properly secured on the bike. Okay, with the, with the same physical key, you can now access under the, the seat. So 
So you turn the key to the rear for the rear seat. Be careful as the seat is heated, there is a, a cable here, so don't pull on the cable. Uh, you have a few tools here and a high visibility jacket. In case you have to stop on the side of the road, you should put this on. Okay. You can adjust the height of the seat in two different positions. It's currently in the high position. To put it on the low position, so first you rotate the key to the left and you lift the seat like this. Same thing, there's a cable. To put, uh, to put the seat in the lower position, you have to rotate two parts. This, this one first. So it's, it's now in the low position and you also have to rotate, sorry, you also have to rotate this one. So you have to press here to release it and you rotate it like this. And now the front seat can be put back on and it's in the lower position now. One last thing, uh, this bike has the shifter up and down. So you just have to, to pull or push on the lever to, to shift down or up. No need to use the, the clutch. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. That's about it. If you have any questions, of course, you have my mobile phone on the contract. Now the only thing I have to tell you is to enjoy your trip. Thank you very much. Bye.